Let's bring in Ian Lee to give us his take on what the deal means. He's with Carleton University Sprott School of Business. So Ian, good deal, bad deal, what do you think? I thought it was a fair compromise by both sides. Um, yeah, the the union PSAC did not get the full demand on the wage side. I didn't expect them to. Uh, when when the government brought out um, uh, the finance minister Christia Freeland, who is not the negotiator, it's Ms. Fortin, uh, that signaled to me. Uh, and I think to everybody that they were not going to compromise beyond what they'd already offered them, which was 3% a year in essence. So they were they were quite hard line on that. Be and they were, for obvious reasons, they would have been just a clobbered in the court of public opinion by the opposition, by the media, by ordinary citizens, uh, because it would have been seen as too inflationary. So then they, the, on the, on the uh, remote work side, which was the other really contentious issue, I think the government did compromise a little bit, and properly so, because this is a hot button issue with large numbers of people in the public service in Ottawa. And so, you know, they, they held the line, the government held the line on the wage side, they compromised properly so, because that's the trend that we're seeing across Canada and the United States, this movement by knowledge workers towards remote work. So on balance, it was uh, both sides, you could say, won, and the taxpayer didn't, uh, uh, wasn't hit too hard. How about the CRA, Ian? What's your read on that? Um, I want to be very uh, delicate, uh, but I'll be very blunt at the same time. I, I don't think that they have a, um, a chance, a prayer of getting 30%. Uh, the CRA is an independent agency. It's not part of the the public service as we understand it. It has its own minister, its own commissioner, and its own management board. Having said that, it still follows, because it is part of the constellation of the architecture of the government of Canada, and so it does follow Treasury board guidelines and settlements. It has in the past, and I believe it will again. And to be very blunt, Todd, what I'm saying, they're not going to get 30%. They're going to get something, I think, pretty close to what the government gave the PSAC. They can't give the PSAC 10.5 uh, or 11 point, I should say 11.5, and then turn around and give uh, the CRA, who are also members of the PSAC, and give them 20 or 25 percent. It's just it, it's just not realistic. It's not credible. And so I don't think they're going to get what they're looking for on the wage side. Much appreciated, Ian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Todd. Ian Lee in Ottawa.